You got engaged in the summer and then I had my show in the September and then we kind of started talking about it straight afterwards. We certainly didn't sort of do a wedding mood board. I'd send a few little bits of inspiration, just little references that, of things that I liked, but it wasn't, you know, there was no, uh, no scrapbook or dream dress or, you know, yeah. fairy tale idea. It was definitely not that. The main thing about my wedding was getting the people around me who were my friends who were creative to be part of it. Obviously it was my first time doing a wedding dress and it's Katie's first time having a wedding dress, hopefully the last time. Yes, and only, hopefully. <laughs> so it had to be right. So it started with uh, trying on a couple of dresses from the Spring Summer 10 collection. Yeah, there was like a very long, high-necked, kind of like a fishtail dress that was made up entirely of stripes. And then the other one was made up of all these hand-stripped um, pieces of silk chiffon. You know, when I get asked to do things, I, I, I don't draw a lot, or I don't tend to like to draw, because like, the things that I can draw don't tend to sort of represent actually what I want to do. You know, there was a lot of fittings, wasn't there? Yeah, but it yeah. was kind of like... It was all like... about sort of working it out through the fittings. Oh. And I decided that it, was, it should be a version of the, the slashed grey dress. The thing that we had to make a really clear decision on was the colour. Katie just kind of had a very definite idea that she didn't want something that was quite bright white. I mean, a lot of people were surprised by the colour and thought that it was very strange and thought that it was very different. For me, it, it wasn't that different. It was really sort of a... It was a version of an off-white. Off I've probably dyed my hair every single colour that you can dye hair. And I think I made that decision fairly early on that pink hair would look lovely with a grey dress. And I liked it, and that was that. <laughs> The main accessory to the dress was the veil that was made by Stephen Jones. He hadn't made any veils, but I just thought, I'm just going to ask, because he's amazing and I love him, and um, I think he'd do a really good job and be inspired by the dress. The actual um, challenge of putting a dress together made out of like two centimetre strips with a huge train on, that was kind of probably the only challenge. Time. But, you know, we, uh, we were invested to the cause, <laughs> so we made it happen. <laughs> but, yeah, we were kind of working up to the, uh, the sort of the 11th hour. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was kind of nice to see the back of it, walking down the aisle, <laughs> knowing it was finished. The dress made me feel incredible. It was, it's, yeah, it's best, best dress ever. <laughs>